Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other stories that she said, like, she would be in, we're talking the original, um, mill. And, mm-hmm. like, they've put, if you go there now, it's a new building that's, like, over where the press is. Um, and they're totally gutted the original place and they're rebuilding that, like, from the studs out. And, yeah. Um, it's like where they are now is a lot more room. There's a really good flow through the place. Um, and I think that happened, she say, how many years ago was it that they moved? I don't remember what I she said. I don't remember. It has probably um, been about, I think Rich and I were together eight, the, eight when years? it was in the old building. So I think it was about seven years ago. Seven years ago. Yeah. Yep. Um, and in the old building, you'd be in the kitchen, and the kitchen was basically a hallway, and it had on one side, like, uh, where you'd mix the donuts, and the other side had a stove, and then a long sink where things would dry. Right. Um, but it was basically just a long hallway. Um, and she'd, you'd be in the kitchen, and you'd look out, and you could see, like, where the donuts were being made, which anybody who went into there would know what I'm talking about. And then there's the register right, like, right around right. in that area, too. Um. And, uh, she was in the kitchen and she'd hear something fall and she'd walk into the store and there wouldn't be anybody there. She said, sometimes you could see the thing that fell off the shelf. Right. And sometimes you wouldn't see anything mm-hmm. at all. So, and it's like, why is this there? And she told us this story mm-hmm. that gave me goosebumps about walking out into the store and seeing a candle because they had this, like, they have like a lot of like homemade and locally, locally made, made crafts that they sell for mm-hmm. people and they have locally made candles and she looked out and there was just one sitting there and then it fell on the ground yeah it was levitating basically, basically yes and then fell and i almost peed yes <laughs> and i i believe her i do too you know and like, this is like whoa you know it's like you're you kind of get like a crazy like i got you the know, goosebumps. Goosebumps. i know it's crazy um she said they were redoing one of the first things that they did when they, after they bought the mill is they're renovating, obviously. Mm-hmm. It's an old, a very old building. And so they were redoing the floor in the kitchen. And she's in there at night by Which, herself. Pookie! <laughs> <laughs> and she, uh, said that she was redoing like the varnish or something on the floor, the new floor that they were putting in. And, She basically said, like, you have just as much right to be here as me, and you just don't need to scare me. Oh, you yeah. You have just as much right to be here and not to scare me anymore. And she said, after that, they haven't done anything. Right. So she, like, like, announced out loud, okay. Like, she was, like, had enough of getting scared. Right. You could be here, but so can I. So stop scaring me. Basically. And then after that, it's more, like, harmless Little things. Little pranks just to let you know that someone's there. Nothing startling But nothing. To her. And she said that everything anybody has ever experienced there has been more benign. It's yeah. been more like in fun. Um, but nobody's ever been like scared. Like, yeah, there's no malicious. You might happening. jump because it's startling. I mean, and like anybody who's worked there has probably had some kind of experience. Like I oh, had, yeah. I had one when I was there. Um, and, um, it's usually, she said that they had, they've had like local ghost hunters come in and check them out. And some of them brought two young women with them and they were mediums. And she said that if you look, uh, if you do a Google search, you can find like the audio and the videos from I them coming I tried to in. do that. I couldn't find it, but that okay. doesn't mean it's not there. Right, right. Um, and she said the women had come back the next day on their own without the mm-hmm. paranormal people. And they said that there were many different spirits coming and going. Like, at, she said at that point, they had counted 14. And she's like, but there's some leaving and some coming. So it's kind of like people that go there all the time to shop anyway. So it's like a revolving door. There's, there's, there's like probably a couple that are there all the time, but there's some come and some leave. Yeah. And I think she said that they think, in which move makes sense, Homer and John would be two of the ghosts there probably from description kind of and then she said that there was a little boy yes, named roger there roger and that 
he had an older sibling that was a, a sister, she kept coming back to get him and he wouldn't go with her. Yeah. Like, he stayed there. And it, it makes sense because some of the pranks and some of the things that happen sound like a child. something a kid would do. Yeah. You know, and it has that, like, mischievous little kid Fun kind thing. of stuff. Like, I'm going to do this just to see Which what happens. still spooky. But... Yeah, for sure. Um, she says, things happen a lot in the kitchen. Um, when you're, when you're there and you're making donuts, you use warm, you have to use warm cider and the cider has to be at a pretty specific temperature. So when you're there and you're making the donut mix, there's always a pan on the stove with cider in it and right. it's always on low, but the stove is always on and there's always a pan of cider on the stove. And sometimes you'll go back there and the stove will be off. Like turned off, not like, just the yeah. gas. It's like the off. light is off. It's it's turned, turned off, off, completely off. Um, and things with a the microwave. There's been some weird stuff with the microwave where they've tried to use the microwave and they can't because it's spelling out the word child, which gives me the. Good I one. know. I'm like, I would just be like, bye. Because she said that her See granddaughter later. said, yeah, she said, put, he put that on for two minutes, and her granddaughter was like, I, I can't. can't, grandma. And she's like, what do you mean you can't? Just put. And she goes, come here and look. And she went and looked, and it said child. On the microwave. And on she said microwave. it's done it more than once. She yes. said it's done it at least twice that mm-hmm. she's seen. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got shivers right now. I'm like looking for ghosts in our, our pod lab. And upstairs, there's a, there, was, there was an upstairs um, mm-hmm. in the attic. Um, and that's where they kept, when I worked there, that's where they kept a lot of the stores. They like, had a lot of, of like the empty gallon jugs up there and some other stuff that you just need for running a business. And I mean, I worked on the cash side, you know, in the store side. Um, I didn't fill jugs or anything. You weren't doing the sorting and the... Occasionally, you'd need to run up there and grab jugs for somebody or something else. And I had... Were, I was working earlier in the day, and there weren't very many of us, because it was during during the week, in the morning, it's not as busy. Um, So I think it was me and then Cindy and someone else that were there. And I was in the back kind of making donut mix and doing stuff that you need to do for the morning. And um. They needed something, so I went upstairs. I opened the door, and I went upstairs and had a weird feeling when I went up there. And then, you know, you you hear something fall off a shelf, and, oh, it's the wind, you know. And then you get what you need, and you go back down the stairs, and then you're standing there, and your arms are full, and you watch the door close. And it's not like it's at an angle, because it was right. open the whole time I was up there. Right. It was open. And then I come down the stairs and I stand there and I watch the door you, close. It looks like someone's pulling it shut, but there's right. no one there. And I'm like, hey, Cindy, the door just shut by itself. Oh, yeah, that's just Homer. And it was just like one of those things where it was like, <laughs> oh, okay. Like, I have not had really an experience like that personal, like, or intimate, if you right. would say, before. Like, we've been running around the woods and yeah. experienced weird shit, but that was like... Right there. It felt like it was for me. You right. know, it was like one of those weird, like, I'm going to do this just so you know. It was just such an odd thing to witness, yeah. you know? So, but I didn't feel, I wasn't scared, but you were, it was you like, were scared in a, like, a not little, a, it was I'm more, get hurt way. it was more unsettling yes. than I felt threatened. Well, because, it, because you didn't see anyone and it looked like someone did something, but there was no one there. That that's, makes you feel weird on the inside. Yeah, it does. It's like, oh. <laughs> I guess I'll go back to work. <laughs> Just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> on my on my merry way. <laughs> it's like, Ooh. And they say that they feel a lot of pre- a lot of people who are sensitive to that feel a lot on the top of the steps going up to the attic. They, that's where they feel a lot right. of energy. Um, and Cindy said that you could hear people walking around, like walking around up there when there's no one up there. Right. Um, you could hear footsteps. Um, I think that's Homer's domain, is what I think. <laughs> yeah. Homer's chilling up there. Yeah, and um, people have seen him mm-hmm. in the window of the yeah. attic. Where <laughs> you look up and there's this old man standing looking out the window when there's no old and men And she said there. that her son looked up and Homer was looking at it was, him. It was, it was a... Was it her son? It was her grandson. Grandson. Yeah. One of them. <laughs> I can't keep them all straight. You can. You she said them. it was Forrest, I think. Okay. Looked up and then there was Homer looking at him. Yeah, through the window. Through the window. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'm like, I might be able really to go to sleep when I go home tonight. <laughs> I'm like, no. I love this stuff. I do. It's just, I love it. It's just, I, my hair is standing on end. Um, the, they used to have a pet, in the old, um, uh, 
part of the mill store yeah. part. Yep. They had a pellet stove in there. And they, that was there when I was there. And they turned it on when it would get cold. It usually was not cold in there. <laughs> I bet. like sweltering. With all the stuff being made. Yeah, it was usually pretty hot. But um, they had multiple people. And these are customers mm-hmm. ask, who is that standing next to the stove warming their hands? And you turn around and look, and there's no one there. And she said that the stove sometimes wasn't even on when they asked that. Right. Yeah. The stove isn't on. Somebody's standing in front of it, like, warming, warming their, their hands. hands, like, rubbing their hands in front of the stove. Like, they they've had young kids ask that and other people, and there's, like, never anybody there. Mm-hmm. It's like, who? I swear what? to God, there was someone just standing there. And they say that he's wearing a white apron a lot. They seen him at the back. Yeah. Yeah, she said that there was, uh, people have seen a man standing at the back of the store with a white apron on, just, like, watching what's going on. Which is probably something someone, a store clerk would, or right. someone that owned an establishment in would the do. 40s would be wearing a white apron. Because if right. you watch old shows, they always have something on. The owner of the stores, mm-hmm. you know? The old mercantile. Yeah. Merc- that's what I was trying to think of. Mercantile. <laughs> De- Cindy also said that she's definitely 100% coming back to haunt the yes! mill. A hundred percent. She's like, Oh, I'm totally coming back. Yeah. I'm a haunt in this place. Yeah. We expect it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm damn sure coming back and haunting it. Yes. <laughs> she said that the house next door on the property actually was built with the mill. It was part of it. It, it isn't anymore. It's they're, to- they're separately owned now. But she said that that house also was haunted and that there was somebody there that saw a figure walk through a wall and yes. that when they went and did more, they went in the other room to search, they saw where, because it was like brick or stone, where there used to be a door there. So it's like, that's, that's like So the, with whoever was walking through was actually walking through where, it where a door would have been. been a door at one point. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of crazy. It's like that residual energy is right. still there, you know? She said there's constantly um, tools that get moved from place to place and that um, Tina had had groceries disappear. Yeah. Like it was brown sugar she, or something. There's a 40-pound bag of sugar. Or yeah. 20-pound bag of sugar disappeared. Yeah. She swore she bought it and set it down and then nobody could find it. It was gone. Yeah. And I was like, that doesn't just <laughs> move on accident. You remember lifting a heavy bag. And you know, that's malicious. You need that. I you know. spent your money on I that. Want, and plus, <laughs> that's how those uh, cider donuts get their crispy coating mm-hmm. on the outside. And I like it. And Homer, you know, leave it alone. Leave that sugar alone. <laughs> that's important stuff. I know. She showed us pictures that were taken with that one um, young man who worked yes. at the press. And he did not believe at all. No. Nope. He totally was like, no, I don't believe ghosts. It's with, not going to happen. He was sorting the apples. He was, yeah. When they would go into the press to press. Yeah. And he kept finding apples with this weird, you know, how sometimes when apples are growing, they get that, like, I don't want to say a scab. Well, it's kind of like where a branch was touching it. Right. And it makes like, like a, a scar on it. It's a scar or it kind of, I call it a scab, even though it's right. not a scab, but it's kind of like the skin gets real rough and thick there. Mm-hmm. Um, and he kept, he found these in in one shift. He found he apples. He said it was all on the same time. Uh, it does, on the it, same one of them section. had, and they took pictures of these apples, yes. and they have them there. If you ask Cindy, if you go in yeah. there and ask her, she actually, will show I'm going to share. I have. I you took pictures, them, so I I'm going to share those. When awesome. I do it. One apple had an I. Mm-hmm. One apple had a C. Mm-hmm. One had a U. Mm-hmm. I C U. Yes. And then the last apple he found had this weird design on it. And they took a picture of the shirt the kid was wearing that day, and it's the same friggin' design it's as on the... his shirt. It was just like them telling him, "You may not believe in us, but we're still Mark here it, anyway." We're and it's you. like I would have died, and I probably would have had to. Leave. Well, he had the Punisher symbol, yes, from the Punisher on it, and the the symbol on the apple was the shape, the shape outline of that skull. I've never seen one of the scar marks on an apple be a round shape. It's it's from no. when the. It's from when something's touching it and nothing would touch it in a round thing, you know, like it, growing naturally. It's just like that. That's crazy. You know, it's I just see like, you. Yeah. They took pictures of it. And I, would he, I think he believed after that. I would hope so. <laughs> I would have filled my pants. Yeah. I think. I would have been like, okay, <laughs> bye. I don't care if you're benign. I got to go. <laughs> I, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> my shift's done. Goodbye. <laughs> And she said that when they moved to the new building, like, she had a customer come in and ask her if they'd seen any of the ghosts since they moved to the new building, and Cindy told her no. And, um, she's like, well, 
Oh, do yeah. you want them here? She's like, well, yeah, they're welcome. Of course. 